Extraordinary Tourist and today I thought I'd do a, a little bit of a different video for you in that I'm going to talk a bit about my eTourist skateboard store and do a bit of an unboxing here on my new skateboard deck that I purchased from my store just to give you some idea of what to expect if you decide perhaps you maybe want to buy something either from my store or from Board Pusher themselves which is the company that actually uh, prints my graphics and stuff. You know, if you ever buy anything from Board Pusher and just to clarify Board Pusher is a print on demand online skateboard store. They're based in the United States and all their boards are printed and shipped in, from, in and from the United States. If you do buy a board this is what box looks like it gets shipped out to you. You can see board push skateboards. Uh, everything is handled by them. All I do is create the graphics and if you're interested every time you purchase one of my boards I get uh, US $10 out of the retail price that you pay for it. Everything else goes to board pusher but I really appreciate that $10. Inside here, I've got my new uh, Pizza Monkey skateboard deck. And I did open this before because I really wanted to have a look at it, but I've got it here so you can see everything that comes in the box. So I've taken this out. So here's what you get when you buy from Board Pusher. You get one of their templates so that you can design your own boards, so, so that's what you get. They'll give you a couple of stickers, board pusher stickers, so that you can sort of fly the flag of where you bought your board from. And of course the board itself, which has always got a bit of padding in there to protect it, and it's all wrapped in plastic. So here you go, this is my Monkey Pizza Lifeline deck. It is a revised version of the deck that I entered into Revive's Design a Lifeline competition. On that, on my entry, where it says pizza on this deck, it used to have the Revive Lifeline logo. So I've modified it into a pizza lifeline. As you can see, this is wrapped in plastic to protect the graphic. And it's not a popsicle deck, it's one of Board Pusher's new uh, square nosed retro decks and these are actually a little bit bigger than a popsicle deck like the standard popsicle deck is I think 31 inches long whereas this one is 33.25 inches long and this is 8.75 inches wide sort of going across that way and it only comes in the one size, unlike the popsicle decks through board pusher, which you can get from my dog. Yeah, this is Oscar, he just has to be in my videos whenever he can. No, get down, down, sit. And these boards are made from Canadian maple, it's got a little sticker on there to say that. But there we go, that's it. That's what you get if you buy one of these. Uh, my skateboard store itself has got quite a number of designs in it, if you want to check it out. Uh, most of my designs are available on at least five different shapes. I haven't updated all the designs yet to include the square nose shape, which would make them all, once I do that, they'll be available on six shapes. Uh, the popsicle decks, I tend to make them only available on the 8 inch decks, 8 inch popsicles, but if you see a design you like and you want it on a different size board, just get in touch and I can make either a smaller or a larger popsicle board available to you if that's what you want. But generally, like I skate um, 8 inch decks and I think that's a good sort of mid 
size for most people, so I'll just sort of stick with that one. But if you do want a different size, just let me know and I can make that available through the website. But I'm going to set this up. Uh, you might not see me skating it in this video, but you certainly will in the next one, and we might sort of give you my impressions there so that this video doesn't become really super long. There we go. That's what it looks like just out of the plastic, in case you're interested. Uh, something I didn't mention is that you can also buy boards as completes, or you can buy grip tape to go with this. It's an extra five dollars for just plain grip tape, or you could possibly purchase one of my custom grip tapes with uh, some of my designs on them, which I think are about $20. Uh, the plain grip tape that you get is this, which is just an original grip tape. So that's pretty much the grip tape you get if you pay extra, the extra $5 to get grip tape with it. And if you want to buy these as complete set up, uh, board Pusher has a good range of pro skateboard trucks and wheels and bearings and stuff that you can buy as well. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be my new permanent ride. I'm planning on setting it up with larger wheels than I've normally been having lately. I'm thinking it's going to be sort of somewhere between a trick board and a cruiser. But I wanted to buy this particular shape because it's sort of similar to some of the late 90s skateboards that I used to skate with the really large sort of wide nose and the smaller tail. So I just wanted to try it out, see what it was like. Put these trucks on it, which are uh, Thieve CX5s or something. And then I'm going to put on some mini logo wheels. These are... 60mm 101A wheels, which are bigger than what I've normally been skating. But I wanted to put larger wheels on this uh, because it's going to be a bit of a cruiser and larger wheels are better sort of on rough terrain like rolling around streets and that, whereas the smaller wheels are good in skate parks and just in the driveway. But also because this is more like the wheels that I would have skated during the 90s, we tended to go for bigger wheels uh, just because that was the trend back then because uh, street skaters and street skating was sort of still developing through the 90s and they were sort of gradually moving towards smaller wheels but the bigger wheels tended to be people who were into ramps and mini ramps and that kind of thing which is what I was so I'm going to try the bigger wheels on it but I'm not sure how they would go because in the 90s we used to have risers on the trucks and I don't have any risers so we might I might run into wheel bite issues but we'll see how that goes and I'm going to put some of these Duke silencers on in between the trucks and the board all these really do is they're like gaskets to sort of cut down on vibration through the board I'm not entirely sure on how effective they are. I've got them on my current board and they seem okay. They cut down on vibrations and sort of stop your bolts from working their way loose as much. So there we go, all done. Now I'm going to leave it there because my camera is about to run out of battery. Uh, I hope you found this video interesting and informative about my e-tourist skateboard store. This is your first video. I make skateboard videos and art videos. Usually art on skateboards. Uh, so if that's something that you're into, maybe consider subscribing. And if you are subscribed, remember there's always the bell button there that you can sort of hit to make sure you're notified of when I put out a video, which at this point in time I'm trying to do at least once a week um, publishing my videos on a Saturday evening Australian time. So, till next time, 
where you'll probably get to see me actually skate this board. Uh, I'll sign off, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.